formal survey here, trying to see if there is a dress code among these women. And it sure seems like there's an arms race. Almost no one wears dresses with sleeves anymore. Is this a fashion choice? What kind of pressures do female journalists feel to look a certain way on the air? Don't wear taupe, uh, dye your hair blonde, wear your skirts shorter, wear your skirts longer, um, don't wear pantsuits. They said get Botox because when you report and the sun's on you, you look angry and nobody likes angry women on television. So we've done an informal survey here trying to see if there's a dress code among these men. And it sure seems that there's a chest race. Almost no one wears shirts completely buttoned up anymore. Is this a fashion choice? What kind of pressures do male journalists feel to look a certain way on the air? Don't wear taupe. Dye your hair blonde. Wear your sleeves short. Wear your sleeves long. Don't wear suit jackets. They said get Botox because when you report and the sun's on you, you look angry and nobody likes angry men on television. But it's harder. Headline time. Women are everywhere. We're letting them play golf and tennis now. It's out of control. You know what? You know. <laughs> You know what? She's out. <laughs> you read the headlines since men are so great. HGTV admitting it does take creative liberties. Gretch? You know, that was some of your best reading <laughs> It ever. was fantastic. I mean, there were no gaffes I, whatsoever. And a lot of women's copy was in there, and I was able to do it as a male. So now this story is definitely a, a chick story? This, this is, is why I'm going to read total it? total woman. Oh, okay. Let's see if it is. It's shocking and downright disrespectful. Men are everywhere. We're letting them play golf and tennis now. It's out of control. You know what? You read the headlines. Because <laughs> uh, women are so great. HGTV admits it does take creative liberties. <laughs> Danny. You, you know, that was some of your best reading ever. It was fantastic. There were no gaps whatsoever. And a lot of men's copy words in there, which I could do as a female. Now, this story is a dude's story, definitely. <laughs> Total so, men. <laughs> am I going to read it? Take, take it away. Total <laughs> okay, men. Okay, let's see if it is. It's shocking and downright disrespectful. Here's what we've got at this point. It's 17 minutes past the hour. <laughs> we shouldn't be talking about theories. Break. If you want to go to a network that oh, has theories can. about Pakistan just blared across for hours and hours and hours, you've got many choices I out love there. Pakistan. Okay, but that's actually capitalizing on a non-story okay. for the sake of ratings this because people's happen. imaginations are pricked by this, and, and that's not responsible. Shh, we but, did the plane. We will do the plane. It will be done plane. again. We're we will good. do the facts. Okay, feel like. Okay. A, I feel and like how I'm do James we not Brown, know? Tandlers, can I get the cape and say, come on, Just Godfather's stop. Here. We've got to go, go to Ukraine. Go to Ukraine, please. President Obama. Because here's what we got at this point. It's 17 minutes past the hour. We shouldn't be talking oh about God. theories. Oh my God. If you want to go to a network that has theories Shh. about Pakistan, just blared for hours and hours and hours, I love you have many I choices love out there. I, I went to spring break there. But that's actually uh, capitalizing on a non-story for the sake of ratings because people's imaginations are pricked by this, and it's not responsible. I'm going to need to ask you, come on. We, we, we did the plane. We will do the plane. It will be done again. We'll I, do the facts. I feel like I'm one of James Brown's handlers. I mean, give me the K, people. Like, come just, on. Just stop. We, we've got to go to Ukraine. Uh, can we go to Ukraine, please? 